Case at 12. The 90 starts right now. We begin tonight with a weather-related delay for the start of school tomorrow in Lakey ISD. On its website, the district says buses will run one hour later than normal tomorrow. The district says it chose to delay the start of school out of an abundance of cautions, so no one will have to navigate roads in the dark and should be able to see any possible water or debris on the road. A San Antonio police officer who won his job back after being fired has now resigned from the department amid new allegations and is now facing criminal charges. As I first reported in May last year, Officer Matthew Martin was fired for lying about drugs he seized during a traffic stop. Martin won his job back through arbitration, but there was something contained in that arbitration ruling that sparked a new investigation and led Martin to resign before it was completed. Allegations that he lied about his past military service. It's tonight's Defenders Investigation follow-up. See that red flashing light? Mm -hmm. Okay, everything's being reported because of a working narcotic interdiction. Okay, so I'm just going to say we found it all in the same spot. That's that. Okay. This 2015 traffic stop nearly cost Officer Matthew Martin his job. He and his partner stopped the car for traffic violations and found marijuana inside. The driver was arrested, and as Martin was waiting for a female officer to search the passenger, she made an admission. It's sweet. It's, I pull it out for you right now, and I'm just get it over with. Nobody has to come. I'm not going to waste your time no more. Rather than arresting the woman, Martin cut her loose and charged the driver for possessing all of the pot. When investigators learned what happened, Martin was handed an indefinite suspension, essentially fired. Martin fought that termination through arbitration and won his job back. He was returned to active duty on August 10th last year. But that wasn't the end of his troubles. In the arbitration ruling, it was stated Martin spent four years honorably serving in the United States Marine Corps, which he followed up with a stint in the U.S. Secret Service as a highly trained member on the presidential protective detail. In March of this year, I was sent an anonymous letter, which raised questions about Martin. Martin's military service. The letter stated, quote, this is not true. I find it interesting and quite upsetting that someone would lie about serving in the Marine Corps, but apparently this is just what Officer Martin did because I can assure you he was not a Marine. The defenders sent the letter to SAPD and were informed in April the information was being investigated by Internal Affairs. We recently learned Officer Martin resigned from the department on August 6th while that investigation was still ongoing. SAPD said in a statement, quote, the department received a complaint about untruthful statements made during Martin's arbitration hearing. A criminal case was initiated and a perjury charge was filed with the DA's office. A search of Martin's official Texas Commission on Law Enforcement records reveals more troubling information. It shows Martin began working for the Wilson County Sheriff's Office in January 2017 during his suspension from SAPD and that he's continued to be employed there for a year and eight months, which would overlap his service at SAPD when he was returned to duty. SAPD said it did not approve Martin to work for an outside agency. Now, I've asked the Marines in the U.S. Secret Service for Martin's service records, which have not yet been provided. However, a person I spoke to at the Marines said it appeared Martin never even graduated from boot camp. I've tried to contact Mr. Martin through his attorney, but so far, he has not responded. Unconscious, not breathing, was in pool underwater for five minutes, I think. CPR is in progress. A child saved from drowning, captured in dramatic video from the San Antonio Police Department. SAPD posted a clip online today with some of the footage from two of its officers responding to that call on the north side last month. The night team's Garrett Berger is in the studio to walk us through that video. Garrett? Well, Tim and Myra, the raw body cam and patrol unit footage of officers Richard Gonzalez and Robert Mount racing to save the six-year-old girl's life is edited in with interviews with them and others, including a, one of a family member of the girl. But as Chief William McManus says in the clip, what you see is like watching a suspense movie. Check out this video right here. According to the information from the edited video and its description, the officers had been in an accident when the call for the drowning came out on the afternoon of August 18th. The young girl, who was a strong swimmer, had lost consciousness after holding her breath too long. She spent a few minutes underwater before she was pulled out of the backyard pool. As the officers raced to the house, someone on site started CPR. When the duo arrived, Officer Gonzalez, who was a former EMT, picked the girl up, checking her airway and pulse, and found she wasn't breathing, nor could he find a pulse at the time. What I knew I needed to do was clear her airway so she can breathe. 
and then I did chest compressions, hit more back blows, and she ended up throwing up whatever else she had, and she started breathing, you know, a little by little on her own. The girl spent five days at North Central Baptist Hospital, police said, and made a full recovery. Now, police are using this video to encourage people to learn CPR, saying if it had not been started early, the girl and her family could have had a very different outcome. We have a link to more CPR information and the full video on our website, ksat.com. Tim, Myra. So glad those officers were there. Thank you, Garrett. Other top stories we're following tonight. A man and woman duct taped this morning during a home invasion at a northeast side house. It happened on the 8000 block of Chestnut Bluff near Highway 78 in Walsham Road. The Bear County Sheriff's Office said three or four armed men were inside the home but ran off when more people got home just before 430 this morning. The men left behind an SUV loaded with some of what they had tried to steal. Deputies say the crime was possibly drug related. This man accused of hitting a man with his car during an argument. 22 year old Maximiliano de Hoyos charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Police say that he was arguing with another man in the parking lot of an apartment complex when he got into his car, hit him and then drove off last week. The victim was taken to the hospital in critical condition and underwent surgery. He was arrested on two robberies last week, and while in jail, police connected him to yet another. 34-year-old Victor Gonzalez now charged with another count of aggravated robbery. Police say he flashed a gun while demanding cash at a Dollar General last month. Police used his fingerprints to match him to the scene. A Border Patrol agent behind bars on a bond of over $2 million tonight. Juan David Ortiz is now accused in the deaths of four people while trying to kidnap another in Laredo. The night team's Jaffney Gray went to Laredo today and spoke with several people who lived in that agent's neighborhood. I mean, like this, that's the last person you would think that would harm you. To know that someone uh, that is living right in front of you, right across from you, you know, would be committing such horrible crimes, unimaginable. Sierra Lopez says she was shocked to learn that her neighbor, Border Patrol agent Juan David Ortiz, is who authorities have labeled a serial killer. Ortiz is facing several charges after one of his victims who escaped at this gas station ran right to a Texas trooper who happened to be refueling his vehicle. The manager says she saw it all on surveillance video, which is now part of police evidence. I came to check the video and we saw where the girl came up running from behind the store. She says though she is happy the woman escaped, it scared her. A lot of things came to mind. I have daughters that can be put into that situation and a lot of bad things came to mind. Ortiz is being charged for picking four victims up and shooting them in the head. Lopez says Ortiz seemed like your average neighbor, but learning he was connected to the deaths of three women and a transgendered person has made her more aware. Staying out after certain times or after getting dark, you know that that's completely a big no-no i mean even close friends sometimes you don't even know you know who they are behind closed doors but more importantly she says she feels safer and that she is grateful for the fast actions of law enforcement a couple rotten apples cannot define you know our federal law enforcement uh, they do a lot more good than they do harm to our country and the society jaffany gray case at 12 news Ortiz is now facing four counts of murder, one count of aggravated assault, and one count of unlawful restraint. The Webb County Sheriff's Office is expected to hold a press conference about the incident tomorrow afternoon at 2. Hope you had a great Sunday and that you got a little bit more rain because we're cutting off the rain chances. 74 degrees outside right now. A look outside with live cam and you may have even gotten to see a little bit of sun to end the weekend today. Yeah, that rain is moving out and that means probably a much smoother commute for you uh, tomorrow morning. We are going to have um, mostly cloudy skies but no rain to worry about and that's the good news I, I think you can see a few little sprinkles but probably more patchy fog uh, than anything else we're going to take a look at your full forecast and get you ready for this week coming up in just a few minutes Still ahead on the night beat, a memorial now growing on a beach where a deadly shark attack took place. New information now coming out about the college student who was killed. And the University of Texas at San Antonio now making its way into the Guinness Book of World Records. Coming up, why such a tiny robot is such a big deal. But first, a San Antonio student uncovering his heritage, the trip of a lifetime that wrapped up with a special presentation today. That's up next.
Well, after the wet weekend, any more rain this upcoming week? Plus, we take a look ahead to the first day of fall. And when it comes to weather changes, homeowners need to prepare ahead of time to prevent costly damage. What you need to expect in your home Monday on GMSA. Keep up to date on all the latest in home technology during the Orange Tech Talk, only on KSAT 12. Don't worry, I'm not going to let you fall. I'll be right here. <laughs> She's gone from four wheels to two. Every day there's a reason to celebrate at Peter Piper Pizza. It's fun and games where everyone wins. And me from Scratch Pizza, everyone loves. This is family fun made easy. Double the delicious with our double up deal. Get two large one topping pizzas on dough made fresh daily for $19.99. Only at Peter Piper Pizza. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. At the Kaling Auto Group, our goal is to provide our customers with an outstanding sales and service experience as measured by each manufacturer's highest award, like Ford Motor Company's Triple Crown Award earned by Blue Bonnet Ford in 2017, making them one of only three dealers in Texas to earn this prestigious award. And Blue Bonnet Jeep is the only two-time winner of the Customer First Award for sales and service excellence in Texas. You'll get no hassle posted pricing and respect for your time at every dealership of the Kaling Auto Group. A West Point graduate, Joseph Kopser served 20 years in the military, two combat tours in Iraq. Returning home, Kopser founded a successful technology company, creating Texas jobs, and helped build a nonprofit for other veterans to start their own businesses. Joseph Kopser. I've crossed oceans and deserts to defend our country. Believe me, I can cross an aisle if that's what it takes to solve our problems in Washington. And I'm not afraid to stand up to leaders in both parties to do it. I'm Joseph Kopser and I approve this message. Discover the versatility of utility with the rugged luxury of the LX, the convenient third row of the RXL, the dynamic style of the NX, and the exceptional capability of the GX. So you can be in your element, in any element. Experience a range of SUVs perfect for any adventure. See North Park Lexus of San Antonio and North Park Lexus of Dominion. Live the dream with exceptional deals on Chrysler Pacifica minivan. Only at your local Chrysler dealer. Get $2,250 combined cash allowance on the 2018 Pacifica, and Texas residents get these additional offers. Up your van game today. New tonight, it is the trip of a lifetime, and with it comes great responsibility. 11 San Antonio area students chosen to participate in a Holocaust education program, which included a trip overseas. Today, those students ended the program by creating projects that were displayed this afternoon at the local Holocaust Museum. One of the students walks the night team's Courtney Friedman through the trip, through the life-changing trip, explaining its importance. A family secret revealed years ago changed Tristan Burgoyne's life. My mom's father was, was Jewish, yeah, but she was raised, raised Catholic. My mother found out at her father's funeral because he, was, he, he kept it hidden from the family for like, you know, until he died. Not uncommon for people who'd been prosecuted because of their Judaism. The revelation left Tristan curious. That's why this year the 17-year-old jumped at the opportunity to learn about the Holocaust and his heritage. I've heard of people who deny that this has happened and that just just makes me mad it's very important that people learn about this it's hard to talk about but then again you really should talk about it because to be aware is like everything you don't want to repeat history after 55 hours of studying 11 san antonio area students traveled to germany and poland first stop berlin what really stood out to me was the holocaust memorial there you're supposed to interpret it the way you want to what did you take away from it the illusion of order or you know like controlled chaos because I feel like that's what the Nazis were trying to do. Next, they headed to Warsaw. This was at the, the Jewish cemetery in, um, in, in Warsaw. On each side of me said there were about 40,000 people buried, you know, with, you know, unmarked, you know, mass graves. And I was just like, that's a lot to handle. Last stop, Krakow, ending with a trip to Auschwitz. A glass encasement full of shoes, 
children's shoes, you know, there's other rooms full of suitcases, hairbrushes, pots and pans, and it's haunting, it's, it's, it's sad. That really, really affected me. The program's final piece, a chance for the students to create a board filled with their favorite and most powerful experiences from the trip. Those projects displayed publicly this afternoon at San Antonio's Holocaust Museum. I will never forget this trip. It, it really did change my life. He feels the weight, the importance of keeping Holocaust stories alive. And he says that responsibility belongs to people of every race and religion. The, the death of, of, of millions of people is not something to just be like, oh, I'm not, you know, of the, that race or of that, you know, heritage. I shouldn't, you know, have to learn about it. It may be his heritage, but it's everyone's history. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Now, if you want to visit the local Holocaust Museum, it is located on the second floor of the Jewish Community Center off of Warsbach and Northwest Military. All right, outside this evening, it seemed like we were finally coming into a break. They yeah. saw some sun. Yes, yeah. a little bit of sunset out yeah. there tonight. It's, it's, it's gone for a few days. Or, okay, <laughs> for, for a few, few days. We're going to get a chance okay. to, to dry <laughs> off. Uh, yes, a couple minutes ago, I wanted to get you your school bus forecast, but the school bus was broken, but we got it working now. <laughs> low 70s, low 70s in the morning, mostly cloudy skies and some patchy fog around as well. Very, very humid, too. Humidity uh, is going to be with us all week. Goodness me. We're off to a good start. Yeah. We're off to, man, and I had a really good time lapse for y'all from today. Maybe you got to see it uh, during the news at 5.30. Uh, regardless, here's your almanac. 73 this morning, 84 this afternoon, and th uh, th 3.75 inches of rain at the airport. That has me all frazzled. 74 right now, 72 in Kerrville, 68 in Rock Springs. Still a little bit closer to 80 down in Laredo, but check out dew points in the upper 60s, low to mid 70s. We're not going to catch a break with our dew points this week. The rain is going away, but the humidity is going to stay. And here's a look at Doppler radar. I think this is the least rain we've had on Doppler radar for what feels like a while, several days for sure. All those downpours from this afternoon moved off to the northwest and they're uh, moving away. The surface low pressure system that moved in Friday brought us all the rain Friday, Friday night and yesterday and even today is has weakened a lot and it's moving off to the west, really not even a defined center of low pressure there with that system. So it's on the way out and so are our rain chances. Uh, the rainfall from the past couple of days has added to our 2018 September rainfall total of 14.4 inches of rain at the airport in San Antonio. And so far it is the second wettest September on record. But now we get a chance to dry off for a few days. Afternoons going to be very hot and humid. Rain chances sneaking back in by late this week. So let's take a look through the middle of the week. Very dry. I can't roll out a few little coastal showers uh, each afternoon, but for the most part, a pretty dry forecast. Isolated showers return Thursday and then more of a scattering of showers and storms by Friday into next weekend. Uh, upper level weather pattern. We're not going to see any big movers and shakers move in. We are going to be watching this weak upper level low pressure system make a run at South Texas by the end of the week, and that's what's going to bring us our rain chances. And I know you're wondering, is there a front in our forecast? Unfortunately, not yet, but the cold front machine, it, it's getting cranked up here. It's getting warmed up, and there are going to be uh, a series of fronts that are mainly going to impact the uh, northern half of the U.S. We will be waiting for ours. It will be here eventually. Tonight, temperatures in the low 70s. Again, the mentioned for some patchy fog tomorrow morning. Very, very humid, just sticky. As we head into the afternoon, we'll get to warm up a little bit more uh, with more sunshine, mix of sun and clouds and temperatures in the low 90s. There's what's left of Florence, now a tropical, uh, tropical depression. Helene and Joyce way out in the open Atlantic and otherwise pretty quiet. There is a disturbance in the Caribbean. This is the remnants of Isaac, the National Hurricane Center has given this a 20% chance of development in the next two to five days. But what's going to happen here as these remnants continue to move west, they run into a big area of high wind shear, uh, and that should be what keeps that from redeveloping. So we're not concerned about that at all. Here come the rain chances back just in time for Friday and the weekend. I know you're probably at home like, really? We just had a soggy <laughs> weekend. I'm going to do it all over again. Um, yeah, we'll get some more more downpours back in here by the end of the week. At least a little break in there. Some time, some time for some of this water to seep into the ground a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Katie. Mm -hmm. Thanks. We have a traffic alert that we want to make you aware of right now. Let's take a look at the Transguide camera here in Loop 1604 and Bandera. 
The San Antonio Fire Department reporting a wreck there, and according to uh, its online records, the department is saying that they're trying to pull somebody out of a car at this scene. Yeah, apparently an accident there at the intersection where there's an awful lot of construction going on. Uh, we understand there's eight units on scene right now. I might want to avoid that area if you're heading out for any reason this late at night, but uh, 1604 and Bandera Road on the far northwest side big trouble spot tonight. Coming up next on the night beat, a retired New York City police officer in trouble with the law himself. The big prostitution bust that led to his arrest coming up. And we're learning more about the man killed in yesterday's shark attack in the Northeast. Plus, we're also hearing from witnesses. That's coming up next. If you or a loved one has been injured in an auto or truck accident, call 210-222-2288 or Google Carabin Shaw. From name brand appliances to the big screen TV of your dreams. From a cozy new mattress to a comfy new sofa. Cons Home Plus is the smart way to shop with low monthly payments tailored to you. Whether you've got good credit or no credit at all, you can make it happen at Cons Home Plus. You want a better With another rise in the aquifer level over the past day, it's up more than 26 feet since Labor Day. Mold, your only allergen today, and it's still high with a count of over 3,000. Rush in and score huge savings on trucks and Jeeps at North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. It's Ram Power Days. Get into a 2018 Ram Lone Star Crew Cab. 15000 off and only two eighty nine dollars a month. And no payments for 90 days. Or get $7,000 off a 2018 Jeep Wrangler during Jeep Adventure Days. We have several to choose from at your savings destination. North Star Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat. One block south of North Star Mall open Sunday. Fresh ingredients have made Good Time Charlie's a family favorite for 36 years. And for the kids, too. The enchilada, the bean rolls, a hot dog that looks like a burger, lots of kid meals to choose from. Fresh food at refreshing prices. Good Time Charlie's at Broadway in Mulberry. My name is Mark, but around HEB, they call me the boss of the sauce. My job is to travel Texas looking for the best sauces and sauces. After tasting lots of options, we want to try some new flavors. And that's how Mark's Good Stuff got started. These are unique products with delicious ingredients. They're inspired by Texas taste and everything I loved about growing up around here. Like this salsa, named for my old high school football number. This is the Taste of Texas department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. Does Beto O'Rourke think refusing to stand for the national anthem is disrespectful? No, I don't think it's disrespectful. And, and I can think of nothing more American than to peacefully stand up or take a knee. Texan Tim Lee stepped on a landmine in Vietnam. I gave two legs to this country. I'm not able to stand, but I sure expect you to stand for me when that national anthem is being played. In November, where will you stand? All right, here we go. Right here. Here? Yeah. During the Jeep Adventure Days event, Discover Deals as legendary as Jeep SUV's 4x4 capability and the confidence to go where you've never gone before. This is amazing. It's more than just a test drive. It's your first adventure. Started off with a great deal at the Jeep Adventure Days event. Now get $3,000 combined cash allowance on the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And Texas residents get these additional offers. A photo of the 26-year-old killed in a shark attack in Massachusetts has now been released. We're learning Arthur Medici was a part-time engineering student who was engaged to be married. He was the state's first shark attack fatality in more than 80 years. Ariel Reshef reports on what's happened since that attack. No swimming or surfing on this beach in Cape Cod until further notice. The signs warning visitors after 26-year-old Arthur Medici was attacked by a shark while boogie boarding Saturday, just 30 yards offshore. I have a report of an unknown shark bite male party. Medici dragged to the beach by terrified onlookers. I never wanted to be that guy at the edge of the ocean screaming shark at the top of my lungs, and that happened today. First responders performing CPR before rushing Medici to the hospital, but he did not survive. They were amazing. They did CPR, they, built, they put on professional tourniquets. ABC affiliate WCVB capturing images of these sharks swimming close to the coast just hours after the attack. 
A booming seal population blamed for drawing the predators closer to shore. When you've got a, a prey item that's tied to the beach, you've got predators like sharks moving in to try to get to them, and the, and the general public needs to be incredibly vigilant. This, the first deadly shark attack in the area in more than 80 years, but the second dangerous encounter this summer. Last month, a 61-year-old doctor from New York gravely wounded after being bitten four miles away. And then I was attacked suddenly. Sunday, anguished residents drawing this heart in the sand. Flowers and candles left as a memorial. This sea lavender planted in the spot where Medici was pulled from the water. His family remembering him as a happy spirit who will be deeply missed. Ariel Reshef, ABC News, Cape Cod. A retired New York City cop facing allegations of running a prostitution and illegal gambling rink. Several current officers are also accused of covering up for him. Investigators say retired detective Ludwig Paz and his wife ran the ring. They also allege he had help from seven members of the New York City Police Department so they could avoid raids. Authorities say they provided some information in exchange for discounted sex at the brothel. Prosecutors say an investigation began three years ago after a police officer tipped off NYPD's Internal Affairs Bureau about the prostitution ring. Investigators used wiretaps and surveillance to locate those involved. And check this out, some graffiti for a good cause. Artists were encouraged to show off their talents in Indiana this weekend. The fourth annual Graph Bash took place in downtown South Bend. 20% of the profits will go to a children's home. The agency provides help for troubled children and their families through residential and foster care. Lots to talk about. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. Still ahead, Florence is weakening, but the death toll continues to rise. The latest on the weather event that continues to cause some major trouble. And UTSA now recognized as a Guinness World Record holder, the tiny robot that landed them that honor up next. Hi, everyone. It's Mike and Fiona coming up on the next SA Live. Oh, it's spicy and sweet. Not us. It's Vietnamese cuisine. We're cooking up with Benji's Munch. And then Mud Sleekers is going to be here with some kid-friendly fall drinks that include a creamsicle. Mm. Kick off fall with a fresh look during Ashley Home Store's fall home sale. Start with savings of up to 35% off or no interest until 2023. Don't wait to save at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. There is a real difference in this race for Congress, and it's your health care. Will Hurd voted eight times to raise your premiums and gut your coverage if you have a pre-existing condition. But Gina Ortiz Jones fought by her mother's side as she battled cancer and believes we all deserve health care we can afford. And that can be the difference between life and death for you or someone you love. I'm Gina Ortiz Jones and I approve this message. Friendship is the Texas state motto and our way of being friendly is with dessert. Get the Texas Blizzard Meal Deal. A hunger buster, fries, a drink, and a mini blizzard, all for $5.99. Eat like a Texan. DQ. The demands are greater. The expectations higher. The jobs tougher. So we made your truck even more capable with legendary Hemi Power. More people are switching to Ram than ever before. Get $1,000 bonus cash when you make the switch during Ram Power Days. Now get an average 11,400 in total values on select all new 2019 Ram 1500 models in dealer stock. And Texas residents get these additional offers. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we gonna fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Digit. Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Texas residents, get this low mileage lease on this Encore for around $199 per month. Or get nearly $4,200 below MSRP on this Encore Preferred. Ulysses, his sister Molly, Henry, who's seven. I want to be there with them, but more importantly, I want to anticipate the question that they're going to ask me in the years to come. When everything that mattered to us was on the line, where were you? Let's meet the pettiness, the bigotry, the anxiety that dominates so much of national life today with a courage, a strength, a big heart that could only be born of Texas. I'm Beto O'Rourke and I approve this message. 
Kick off fall with a fresh look during Ashley Home Store's fall home sale. Start with savings of up to 35% off or no interest until 2023. Don't wait to save at all four San Antonio Ashley Home Stores. New on the night feed, a major feat accomplished with a very tiny robot, actually the world's smallest medical robot. Even with Guinness World Records says so, the award was presented to UTSA after a team of researchers developed the invention. The night team Sarah Acosta introduces us to that team and shows us how the robot works. It's not what you may expect a robot to look like. This is a nano robot. It's more round in shape and has a magnetic core. The shell around it acting like its arms and legs. It was created by Satik Patel with some help from advisors Amar Bala and Ruan Go. Sometimes it's difficult to explain to people. Professor Go says a magnetic field and electricity help make the robot move. Check it out in action as it moves through a series of cells. It's so small you can't see it with the naked eye. Just to give you another idea of this, how how small it is. Professor Amar Bala says the robot is so small you would need to divide a human hair a thousand times to get it down to the same size as the nano robot. The size is impressive and so is its ability to move to specific cells. The research could lead to a more targeted form of treatment, especially when it comes to chemotherapy and cancer cells. You really want to suppress their growth, but not, hopefully not to impact other healthy cells. Currently, we don't have a technology that could do that effectively. In this video, you can actually see the nano robot line the cells up. Guo hopes this could also help researchers figure out a way to reconnect broken neuron passages in Alzheimer's patients. There's also research into printing nanoelectronics onto special material for the skin that could track your temperature. Reporting your body function, whether you are deprived of sugar or too high in sugar level. So many possibilities for the future and the research is far from over. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Making headlines around America tonight, more evacuation orders in place as massive wildfires burn in Utah. The Bald Mountain and Pole Creek fires are forcing thousands of people to leave their homes. Highway 6, which runs parallel to these fires, has been shut down in Spanish Fork Canyon. Anyone approaching the area is being turned away because there's the concern that the fire could jump the highway. An update on those deadly explosions that rocked Massachusetts last week. Tonight, people living in three towns impacted have been allowed to return to their homes. Explosions and more than 60 gas fires rocked the towns of Lawrence, Andover and North Andover on Thursday. At least one person was killed, several more injured. The National Transportation Safety Board Chairman Robert Sumwalt says the explosions were caused by too much pressure in the gas lines. Electricity has been restored to a majority of the homes in the area. Gas service will take much longer to be restored as experts assess the damage to the system. People there are being asked not to turn on gas meters on their own. Meanwhile, Hurricane Florence downgraded to a tropical depression, but a slow motion disaster continues tonight in the Carolinas. Rivers there continue to swell and the flood emergencies are expanding. ABC's Natalie Brunel reports the storm has already claimed at least 17 lives and concerns are still growing. Crisis in the Carolinas. Swift moving waters turning homes into islands. The dangerous surge prompting more evacuation orders and a grim message from city officials. If you are refusing to leave during this mandatory evacuation, then you need to do things like notify your legal next of kin because the loss of life is very, very possible. Rivers flowing through neighborhoods, swallowing cars. More than 170 roads in North Carolina impassable, including two major highways, leaving some drivers stranded. We're, we're stuck here now. You can't cross. You cannot cross. The wrath of Florence leaving behind scenes like this in Newburn, where a washed away boat came crashing into part of a home. A thousand responders carrying out hundreds of rescues, but the worst of Mother Nature bringing out the best in human nature. Good Samaritans rushing to help neighbors and perfect strangers. Why is it so important for you to help these people? Uh, I would hope they would do it for me. I mean, somebody needs to do it, so we're going to try it. More than 600,000 people remain without power, including us, and utility trucks can't get to many of the towns because of flooded roads. In Wilmington, North Carolina, Natalie Brunel, ABC News.
Speaking of Florence, check out these radar estimated rainfall totals. It is so rare that you see colors like this. And in fact, so much rain fell in portions of North Carolina that the color table doesn't even go that high. So there's some discoloration here. Radar estimates 20, 21 inches of rain, 12 inches of rain a little bit further inland, but there have been some confirmed measurements of 30 inches of rain in portions of North Carolina uh, from Florence. But on another coast in another country, take a look at this video of Typhoon Mancoot and what it is doing to portions of Asia. Big time waves here up to 30 feet. They're dealing with their own flooding landslides as well. We're gonna talk more about this typhoon and what the difference is between a cyclone, a typhoon, a hurricane coming up. But first, let's get a check of what's going on here at home with live cam 74 degrees, a little clearing in the skies today and the rain is out of here for a bit. I'll have a look at your full forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Tim. Thanks, Katie. Mother Nature seems so angry this month. Still ahead, several major medical headlines, including a new type of treatment called biohacking, how the concept is supposed to help with bone diseases next. And she was diagnosed with cancer after birth. The treatment that seems to be showing some promising results up next. Well, after the wet weekend, any more rain this upcoming week? Plus, we take a look ahead to the first day of fall. And when it comes to weather changes, homeowners need to prepare ahead of time to prevent costly damage. What you need to expect in your home Monday on GMSA. North Park Subaru is moving out our final inventory of 2018 Outbacks in September. Get one with all-wheel drive, Apple CarPlay, and more posted for $25,279 plus 0.9% financing. Complimentary maintenance included from either North Park Subaru location. All right, don't worry. I'm not going to let you fall. I'll be right here. <laughs> She's gone from four wheels to two. Every day, there's a reason to celebrate at Peter Piper Pizza. It's fun and games where everyone wins. And me from Scratch Pizza, everyone loves. This is family fun made easy. Double the delicious with our double up deal. Get two large one topping pizzas on dough made fresh daily for $19.99. Only at Peter Piper Pizza. Peter Piper Pizza. Pizza made fresh, families made happy. In Texas, we don't make excuses. We're hard workers. Anything we have to do with work, you know, that truck is indispensable for that. I drive about three, four days a week, and I'm on the phone 80% of the time. Sink, piece of cake. Chevrolet that I had before, driving it, it just didn't feel like it was going to make it. I sat in a Ford, and I said, you know what? I can sit in this car for 10 years, and it'll still be a good running vehicle. It's designed to last. Drive a new F-150 today with 0% for 72 months or 11,000 total savings. Ford is the best in Texas. I'm Mike. I'm Jed. I'm Mark. And we're lifelong farmers who had the crazy idea to start an all-organic farm in South Texas. Here at Tanaza Farms, our soil is the key to growing incredible organic produce for HEB. They buy almost everything we grow. Over half a million pounds of produce every year. Like beets, Swiss chard, and kale. They buy it as fast as we grow it. Guess we weren't so crazy after all. This is the Texas Organics Department at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Life isn't always fair. Neither is justice. That's something you have to fight for. At the law offices of Pat Maloney, we stand by every client just as we do our own family. I'm Pat Maloney. Call us. We're here for you. Escalade reviews are in. Texas residents get this low mileage lease on this Cadillac Escalade from around $7.99 per month. Visit your San Antonio Cadillac dealer today. A San Francisco scientist has come up with a new exercise concept called biohacking, and he's hoping it will bring hope to people facing bone diseases like osteoporosis and osteopenia. The theory is that it takes activity that is four times your body weight to grow and increase bone density, but for many that can cause injury. One agency known as OsteoStrong is using four specialized machines to help the patient exert as much force as possible without risking injury. The four exercises are done at all full force for about 10 seconds each. 
What we're doing is we're strengthening the foundation of the body, the skeletal system. Studies done in the UK, 14% uh, increase in bone density over a six month period. Now, the scientist behind biohacking says it also decreases a person's risk of injury. New research on an emerging treatment in Washington state is showing promising futures for cancer patients, especially for a two-year-old girl from Idaho. Over the last two years, Harper Bear has been in and out of the hospital after she was diagnosed with leukemia. After countless failed attempts to beat the disease through traditional chemotherapy, one doctor suggested they try a new immunotherapy procedure that involves taking a person's own T cells and re-engineering them to fight the cancer. After just 10 days of treatment, the results were promising. And this is about as quick as you can get, um, especially for a lot of our patients who have tried a lot of therapies and haven't gotten into remission. It's remarkable that in 10 days, those T cells can get in the body uh, and get these patients into remission. Harper's mother says she hopes the treatment will soon become the first line of defense for doctors so other families can have hope too. As for Harper, she's undergone a bone marrow transplant to hopefully ensure that the cancer doesn't come back. San Antonio is set to get millions of dollars tomorrow, and we're watching an important election set to happen in less than 48 hours. A look ahead at the headlines for the week ahead up next. Champion AC, now is the best time to get a brand new AC system starting at just 55.55. Call 504-5555 or visit us at championac.com. Champion AC, where your comfort is our mission. Dinner table. Entertainment Center. Luxury Box. The best tailgates make the best tailgate parties no matter how you use them. Hurry in now to the Toyota tailgate event to get great deals on a new Tundra, Tacoma, or 4Runner. Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months, plus a $2,000 special edition bonus on a new 2018 Tundra Crew Max special edition. Toyota, let's go places. Thomas J. Henry consistently achieves multi-million dollar results for injured clients. When you've been hurt, call Thomas J. Henry. Today we're here to talk about trucks. I love trucks. Wow. What truck brand comes from the family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road? I think it's the Chevy. Ford. It's not Ford. I think it's Ram. It's not Ram either. That's it's Chevy. Chevy. Gorgeous. Get a total value of $82.50 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, trade up and get an additional $32.50 total cash allowance when you finance with GM Financial. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. It's Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month. The best time to take home big savings on our tech-filled family of trucks and SUVs, including Titan, Frontier, and Armada. Get to Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month and take home big savings. Save up to thirteen six ninety one on the twenty eighteen Texas Titan, or get zero percent financing for sixty months on thirteen models. Hurry, Truck Month ends soon. Champion AC, now is the best time to get a brand new AC system starting at just $55.55. Call 504-5555 or visit us at championac.com. Champion AC, where your comfort is our mission. A busy week has already begun and there are a number of big stories we'll be following as we look ahead. Here's a peek at some of the headlines. San Antonio is set to receive an estimated $73 million on Monday. The money awarded as part of a settlement between the Environmental Protection Agency and Volkswagen. This follows the auto company's diesel emissions cheating scandal. The Alamo Area Council of Government says as a whole, Texas will be awarded a minimum of $209 million. On Tuesday, voters will head to the polls in the special election runoff for Senate District 19. 
Former Senator Carlos Uresti held the seat for more than a decade, but resigned following a fraud conviction. The race to replace Uresti pits Republican Pete Flores against Democrat Pete Gallego. You can find a list of polling locations on ksat.com. Happening Wednesday, one of the kidnappers in the Elizabeth Smart case is set to go free earlier than expected. The Utah Board of Pardons and Paroles says they miscalculated Wanda Barzi's time served. While she is set to go free, Brian David Mitchell is serving a life sentence for his role in the kidnapping of the then teen. Smart, who is now 30 and married with two kids, says she's looking into her options. Barzi would be under federal supervision for five years. A vote on Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh is scheduled for Thursday by the Senate Judiciary Committee. There's a Republican push to have Kavanaugh confirmed by the full Senate before October 1st. But Democrats have argued they need access to documents surrounding Kavanaugh's work under the George W. Bush administration to vet the judge's record. Don't forget on Saturday is the Head for the Cure 5K Walk and Run. KSAT Community is partnering up with a nonprofit to to raise money and awareness when it comes to brain cancer. Our former KSAT News Director Jim Boyle and Arizona Senator John McCain were both diagnosed with brain cancer before their passing. If you'd like to register for Saturday's race or donate, just head on over to KSAT.com. That's a look ahead at some of the upcoming headlines. All right, we're going to get right to our forecast in, in just a second, but I want to take you to the other side of the world and take a look at what's going on in Hong Kong. Typhoon Maine Coot first slammed the Philippines before bringing this lashing wind and heavy rain to Hong Kong and portions of the China coast. According to ABC News, Maine Coot was even considered a super typhoon before making landfall in the Philippines. That means it had winds of up to 180 miles per hour. And for perspective, our Category 5 hurricanes have winds of of around usually 160 miles per hour up to 170 miles per hour. So the equivalent of a Category 5 hurricane. The coast of the Philippines and China have had to deal with waves, storm surge, as well as landslides due to flooding rain. So what's the difference between a typhoon, a hurricane, and a cyclone? Well, they're all the same. They're all tropical cyclones. These are rotating areas of thunderstorms that have a closed circulation that form over tropical or subtropical waters. The only difference between a cyclone, a typhoon, and a hurricane is where it is on the planet. And something important to note as well, in the northern hemisphere, these tropical cyclones rotate counterclockwise. In the southern hemisphere, they rotate clockwise. And here's where you can find all of these different kinds of systems, hurricanes in the Atlantic base. And that's what we deal with all the time. Hurricanes also affecting portions of the Pacific Ocean, the Eastern Pacific Ocean and Hawaii. But as you head over to parts of Asia, typhoons occur in the Western Pacific Ocean, places like the Philippines, China, like what they're dealing with with Wing Coop. But cyclones occur in portions of the Indian Ocean and then in the Southern Hemisphere. So that's the difference there. If you ever wondered what the difference was, they're the same types of weather systems. They bring damaging winds, storm surge, flooding rains as well. The names just are different depending on where they happen uh, on the planet. So there you go. Looking back here at home, there's what's left of Tropical Depression Florence, still a very slow moving system and flooding rains continue in portions of the Carolinas. Meanwhile, we have a little cool front up in the northern Great Plains, 79 in Bismarck, the high temperature today. Meanwhile, 90 in Omaha out in front of that cool front, 92 in Dallas this afternoon. We did a little bit better because of the clouds and the rain. Our high temperature, 84 degrees. So getting a little bit closer to fall now, we want to maybe see a cool front. Well, to see that, we really want to see these bright colors come dropping down closer to Texas. And as I run you through this week, that's not going to happen. Some slightly cooler air drops into the northern portion of the country, but we don't have a big front uh, going just yet. We're going to stay pretty warm, pretty humid, but we will bring in a chance for some more downpours once again by the end of the week. So for the next few days, very quiet, maybe a couple of coastal afternoon showers, but it won't be until Thursday and especially by Friday that we see a good scattering of showers and storms return.
Very quiet radar tonight. Those downpours from this afternoon moved on out to the northwest, and I'm expecting a dry night tonight. It will be very humid, though. Some patchy fog and some low clouds developing by the time you get up tomorrow morning. A very muggy morning, mostly cloudy skies, but I think by midday and especially into the afternoon, we'll have more of a mix of sun and clouds. So if you've missed the sun, uh, tomorrow is your day, and that increase in sunshine will help to warm us up a bit more. Upper 80s, low 90s for your Monday afternoon. Again, pretty quiet through the middle of the week these afternoons low 90s high humidity it's going to be pretty sticky out there for sure and as several folks have pointed out to me the mosquitoes are going to be out as well that's not something we typically forecast but <laughs> that could be a problem this week thursday just some isolated showers and then rainfall coverage will be a little bit higher friday into saturday uh, in a few more days we'll be able to time that rainfall out better for you in terms of high school football uh, and college games on Saturday and fall just a week away. Mm. Doesn't mean the fall air is a week away. <laughs> there were two mosquitoes in my car today. <laughs> oh, in that's the, car. the worst. There was a lot of shooing going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plenty of that to come. They got out of there. <laughs> Thanks, Kitty. Mm -hmm. New movies joined in the fight for the top spot this weekend, but were any of them enough to take down the nun? Your weekend box office is next. SA Live isn't just weekdays at 1. It's now on your phone 24-7. With the new SA Live app, you can catch up on past episodes, watch a rooftop session, get recipes, and more. Have a favorite guest or story? We've got their links. The SA Live app. Download it for free. Lone Star Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is your Southside Savings Headquarters. And now you can save even more during our Jeep Adventure Days. Score a new Jeep Renegade for just $198 a month. Or a new Dodge Charger for only $297 a month. Or how about a new Chrysler 300 for only $300 a month. For the lowest prices, shop online at LoneStarDodgeSA.com. Lone Star Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. I-35 just south of South Park Mall. Open Saturday. We are Lone Star. Jeep. It's Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month. The best time to take home big savings on our tech-filled family of trucks and SUVs, including Titan, Frontier, and Armada. Get to Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month and take home big savings. Save up to $13,691 on the 2018 Texas Titan or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. Hurry, Truck Month ends soon. If you or your family are injured, the law offices of Fidel Rodriguez Jr. will fight to get you what you deserve. We are here to serve you and would be honored to be your attorney. Gimmicks don't win in the courtroom. Call the law offices of Fidel Rodriguez Jr. Serious lawyers for serious injuries. Step up to GMC with nearly 10,200 total value on this specially equipped GMC Sierra SLT. See your San Antonio area GMC dealers. Prepare to be blown away. Extra $4,500 cash mission. Mitsubishi's Cash for Junkers has you covered. Buy a new Mitsubishi today and get an extra $4,500 junker bonus cash. That's $4,500 extra for the down payment. Negative equity. Or keep the cash. Trade or no trade. Running or not. Buy a new Mitsubishi. Get $4,500 junker bonus cash while you're here. Test drive the all-new Eclipse Cross. Mission Mitsubishi on San Pedro. Just outside of Loop 410. America's number one Mitsubishi dealer. Grab your popcorn and soda. Several new movies competing for the top spot in your weekend box office. Crazy Rich Asians earned $8.7 million for fifth place and a domestic total of $150 million. White Boy Rick, based on an amazing true story, opened in fourth place with $8.8 .8 million. The mystery thriller A Simple Favor debuted third, grossing $16.1 million, slightly above expectations. 
The Nun lost the top spot, but $18.2 million gave it a 10-day total of $85 million. Did you see anything unusual? Like an alien, you mean? The Predator came out on top, but with just $24 million, it was the lowest opening weekend ever for a live-action film playing in more than 4,000 theaters. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.